Hi guys and welcome to Gardening Time. Today I'm going to be tackling this project here which is um, a new garden bed that we're putting in that's ne right next to our raised garden beds. So I've already started in taking out some of the, the hard compacted gravel and so I'm going to go ahead and continue doing that on down, see how far I get today and we'll go from there. I am finally finished with digging out this bed. I ended up um, getting my husband to help me in digging out the gravel from this bed. And it took several days to actually 
dig it all the way out, all the way down. But we finally did it. And you can see here how thick um, that gravel bed is. So this is our raised uh, vegetable garden beds here. This is just on the outside of that bed. And yeah, that gra gravel went down um, a good eight to nine inches. Let me show you over here. Like some areas, it's thicker than others. So we dug all the gravel out and we ended up putting all the gravel in the ravine and spreading that out. Let me show you another shot here of it. So now we're basically, now we're down to um, regular dirt here. Now what I'm gonna work on is I'm going to be taking from the compost bin and our leaf bin. Here, let me show you those. Okay, um, this is our compost bin. We actually have three bins side by side. So I'm gonna be taking all of this dirt slash compost out of these bins, spreading it out um, alongside the fence, um, as well as over here, this is our um, leaf bin um, and we've used it to store leaves that we um, pick up every fall. So this stuff is, is, especially the stuff on the bottom, is really well rotted. So I'm going to be taking, basically emptying probably uh, this out um, as well and spreading that out into that garden bed as well. So yeah, so that is what we are going to be working on. Let me go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just finished um, putting all of the compost into the, um, and spreading it out into this bed. So, and I, wa and once I um, put the compost in, I raked it all um, out to level everything out and then I watered it down really good. So you can still see that we're quite a bit low. Um, pretty much all the way down. Um, we still have several inches um, to go before this bed is filled. But luckily I still have the leaf bin. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go and empty out the leaf bin and spread all of that of the uh, decaying uh, leaf mulch along the top of the compost. Okay, it is now the following day and I have dumped several loads of these um, leaf, this leaf mulch onto the bed. I kind of mounded it up because um, it's still not fully broken down and so I know that as this compost down it's going to break down I've kind of compensated for that a little bit I don't know how well you could see it on the screen by mounding um, more leaves <clears throat> on top of the bed so my next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and water this down really good again I'm gonna water this layer down and then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the cardboard on top of the leaves. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be the next step. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I just finished putting the last of the cardboard down on top of this bed and watering it in. Now, before I put down the cardboard, I did do one other thing that I wanted to mention. Um, I had done some research last year on growing blueberries and um, had learned um, that blueberries, they like more of the acidic soils. Um, one of the um, um, people that I researched said that they use a elemental sulfur um, to add um, acidity to the soil. So I purchased some because they, I couldn't find any elemental soil um, in any of the stores around 
uh, me. So I ended up ordering from Amazon a bag of, of um, elemental soil. And I'll, I'll uh, put a picture of it up on the screen to show you. And so what I did was um, following the instructions, I just um, put, um, sprinkled some um, down to this post here. Um, I put down the elemental sulfur because that's where I plan on planting all of my blueberries is um, within those two fence panes in the front here. So I put the elemental sulfur down, I put the cardboard down, and then I came in and I sprayed the cardboard down with water. Um, and so now the last step for me is to go ahead and add in this mulch here. Now this mulch we got early this spring when our electric company had sent out some tree trimmers um, to trim up the trees around our utility pole. And when they came in, I noticed that they had a truck full of mulch. And so I inquired about it and um, they said I could have it for free. They would just leave it behind. And I wanted to make sure it was clean, you know, that it was all just done from, you know, healthy trees. And um, they said, yeah, it's pretty much all good stuff. So uh, that's what I that's what I um, had them do. I just had them um, put a pile in here and I used um, some of it for some other projects. Um, and I also um, used quite a bit of it. It was a huge mound. It was probably like, um, that's probably like a third of what's left behind. So I added a lot to our um, ravine as well, um, but I wanted to save enough behind um, to uh, do this project. So I'm going to take that uh, mulch and I'm going to now um, put it on top of the cardboard. All right, here we go.
Okay guys, I am finally finished with this garden bed that runs alongside our raised uh, vegetable garden. So I got all the plants placed back on top of the mulch. Now the reason why I haven't planted um, my um, fruit bushes into the ground yet is because I want to wait for um, the compost and the leaves, um, you know, the crushed leaves and all that to finish fully composting down into really good rich soil. So I'm going to have to wait. Um, I'm hoping that maybe by this fall, uh, the soil will, will be ready um, for me to go ahead and plant um, all of these potted plants in the ground. Um, if not, I may have to wait till the spring. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see how long the process takes. But I wanted to show you how I set everything up. Um, so these first eight plants, all the way to this one right here, um, these are all of my blueberries. I have a number of different varieties. Um, I'll have to go through those uh, maybe when, um, maybe in another video, I'll go through it. I'll go through and talk about the different varieties that I have. Over here, um, I started, I, I put in my two red currant uh, plants. And the reason I spaced them a little farther apart is because I am hoping to find one of two fruiting bushes, either a white currant or a josta berry, which is a uh, hybrid between a, um, or it's a cross between a currant and a gooseberry. And they're supposed to be really good. So I figured I'd leave a little bit of space. So hopefully when I do find one of those two, I'll be able to put it in right there. Um, from this red currant down to where my raspberry patch is, <clears throat> this is where I'm going to plant all of my blackberries um, and also my and also uh, different raspberry varieties. So over here I started with my um, two, alp I think they're called alp alpache, they're the thornless blackberries. So that's these two right here. Then I have my baby cakes, blackberry. And that um, only gets as tall, that's about as tall as that plant will get, um, which is nice. They stay kind of lower to the ground. Next to that, I have my Black Raspberry Jewel. That's my newest addition. I have that cloached right now to protect it from the elements. It's still really small. And over here, I'm planning on getting a couple of golden, or they're also called yellow raspberries. So those will go right in there. So that's kind of how I have things set up. So, but just to give you one last view of the new bed, oh, I just, I'm, I'm so happy with the way it came out. It took a long time. It was a lot harder um, to tackle this project than I originally thought, but I'm just glad that it's done and now I can move on to the next thing. Anyhow, guys, I hope this video has inspired you to get out into your gardens. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Please give me a thumbs up and follow if you like these videos. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.